What is going on guys? It's Edgar, aka the Mudcube Gamer. And today I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel. It is going to be my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Now, there are going to be some rules that we must follow in a Nuzlocke. The first rule, okay? You might want to write this down. Well, I'm going to have the rules in the description also. So, rule one. You may only catch the first Pokemon that you find in a route. The second rule. If any Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and must be placed in the in the PC box and you cannot use it anymore. The third rule. All Pokemon must be nicknamed. Okay? And so with all those, those are the rules that I'm going to be playing by. But also, I'm going to add in some other rules for myself. So we're going to be playing with dupes claws. Which is basically to where if I catch a certain Pokemon, let's say a Bidoof. And then I go into another route and I find another Bidoof as my first encounter. Then I cannot catch it. No, I can either catch it or choose to get a different first encounter now as i said i can only catch the first pokemon that i find in the wild and i only get one pokemon per route and so i'm also going to be playing with shiny claws which is basically to where if i already find a pokemon in that route if i find a shiny pokemon then it ignores every rule in the book and i can catch it like I can catch it, and then I'm also going to be playing with shiny rules. Basically, to where if you have a shiny, it has to faint three times in order for it to be considered dead. And that's about it, so let's get right into it. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go on any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving. I don't need any info. The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you don't. Oh wow, a Baneary. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends, and at sometimes we play together and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon for battling and develop closer bonds between them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? I am going to be playing as the boy character. Alright, so you're a boy. Yes, I am a boy. Tell me, what is your name? My name is going to be E D G A R And my name is going to be Edgar. Your name is Edgar. Yes. Okay, so you're Edgar, a fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? I am going to name him Lake after my cousin. L A K E. Because we're pretty much rivals. Lake. Lake, is it? This is your friend's name? Yes, that is my friend's name. Right, Edgar. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leave it to the world of Pokemon. Will do, Professor Rowan. I like how they shrink you to a baby. Yo. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. This was the comment left by Professor Rowan. Who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. Oh, that's neat. He went to the Kanto region. 
That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Web. See you next week, same time, same channel. Oh, this is oh, this is late. There you are. Hey, Edgar, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this the, a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Edgar, if, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke. Actually, I want to check out my my PC. Basic living. Oh, that's it. Oh, before I do anything, I'm going to switch my options from tech speed from mid to fast. Wait, did I change it? Okay. Yes. Wait. Ugh. Did it do it? Yes, okay, it did. Alright, so now we're going to go and go find Barry. No, not Barry, Lake. It's our mom. Edgar. Lake already left. I don't know what it is about. <clears throat> I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Okay, so Barry apparently likes to go out on his own. Oh, yes. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, well take care, sweetie. Okay, bye, Mom. Twinleaf Town. I don't like that I can't run. Wait, was he not that way? Hi, Edgar. Lake was looking for you. I think he'd go home. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? Okay. Ow! Thud. Are you serious? He told me to go to your house. And you're about to leave. That's not nice. What was that about? Oh, hey, Edgar. I'm going to go see Professor Rowan. You should come, too, and quickly. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Oh, am I... Ew, I don't want to go in your room. You're going to have, like, sweaty socks everywhere. Oh, is this your mom? I like mom. Actually, I know your mom's name, like, if you're watching this. I better... I better take a bag and a journal, too. Oh, hey, Edgar, I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Well, I don't want to be fined money, so let's go. I want to get my running shoes. I really want to run. Route 201. See, this right here would be considered... A route where I can catch Pokemon. So I would only be able to get one Pokemon from here. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter if we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen. You know how wild Pokemon jump out at when you go into the tall grass? So what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we can just keep dashing, we can get to Sandrum Town without running into any wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Wait, are you seriously going for it? Okay, here it goes. On your mark. HOLD IT! Oh, that's not nice. You don't just yell at kids like that. Who do you think you are? Oh, this is the professor. You don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hmm. 
I don't know. It was his idea. Hey, Edgar, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What is he doing here? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world will surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Look, my thumb. Is it all right for me to put them on that path? Yeah, it is. What's up? I want a Pokemon. You too. You, tr you truly love Pokemon, don't you? Do you? Yes! Me too. I love Pokemon. I will ask you once again. What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We both... We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Edgar? Yes. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly tried to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh... Well then, forget about me, but give a, a Pokemon to my old friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Ooh! Thanks, you ain't getting no Pokemon, mate. So he's about to give us our first Pokemon. And we have to promise not to be reckless, because if we do, that Pokemon will die. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Oh, there it is, Dawn. Nice work. Oh. What was it about? What I was about to... He was about to give us a Pokemon. Pardon? These Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. Side by side with Pokemon? Yeah. We shall get a Pokemon. Go on, over the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy now. That I can't make a straight face. Edgar, you choose first. Okay. So, we can choose. Turtwig, the leaf Pokemon. Charmander, the chimp Pokemon. And Piplup, the penguin Pokemon. Now guys, I am going to choose this starter. I will choose a starter, okay? And this is actually a really hard choice because I've played with all of these, but I've never done a Nuzlocke with them. My first one was with a Piplup named Bubbles. I think my third one was with the Chimchar named Wukong. And the second time was with a Turtwig. I forgot Turtwig's name because it wasn't really important to me then. So, what Pokemon am I going to be choosing? The starter Pokemon I am going to be choosing is Chimchar, the Chimp Pokemon. Now, the reason I want to choose this Pokemon is because he's good for two gyms. And because he is going to be a very good addition to the team. Okay. So, now we've got our Chimchar. Okay. Professor Wone, wait for me, please. Okay, so, guys, this is gonna mark the end of the video. If you have enjoyed... Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and yes, I am up for this. Wait, what? I didn't know we were supposed to have a battle. What? Okay, you know what? We're battling the lake, doing the berry dance. Okay, come on. Our first battle of this game. Fight. Scratch. Scratch him. Scratch, scratch, scratch. He used growl. Scratch. Time to just brute force it. Scratch. Oh, that did a lot. Are we gonna lose our first battle? I'm just gonna keep leering. Use pound again so I can get the one up. Ugh. Yeah, I might not win this battle, 
just gonna say. Then again, it might like take forever. Okay, come on, Lear. Ah! Okay, scratch, scratch, scratch it, scratch it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Pound, pound. No! Are we serious? Are you serious? Did we just lose our first battle? What? Are you serious? Did we just lose our first battle? Ah! Uh. Jeez. I just lost my first battle. Oh my goodness. Imagine if you didn't. Imagine what would have happened. Okay, hurry up. Yeah, I need to go to Sandrum Town. Okay, good. I got the running shoes. I need to end off this video, please. Don't care about the instructions. Okay, guys. So, this is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, please uh, feel welcome to subscribe if you're new. Leave a like on the video. As always, if this video gets up to five likes the next video will come out even sooner so as i said leave a like subscribe if you're new this and the first comment to get and the first person to comment on every video will get a sub back now i will reply to every comment on this video that it gets okay so see you guys see you in the next one goodbye